I have lots of projects I'm working on, and I always have a long list of video topics I want to do, but I just want to give you an update on some of the things I, I, I might be working on. Obviously, I'm going to always be doing Bash Script videos. I have a long list of videos on Bash Scripts, and it never hurts to go back and, and review on basic stuff for people who are new to my channel. But one of the things I really like playing with is video games. I'm, I'm not a gamer. I don't, I don't play very many video games besides, you know, like original Doom. Um, but I, I've been playing around with the Godot engine for a while now. Um, I've started a big project a couple of years ago that I really need to get back to because it was coming along so well uh, called Cyber Griffin, which is like a 2D Doom style game where I used all the assets from Free Doom, uh, which is a, a free and open source um, pack for Doom. And uh, but it's a 2D side scroller shooter that's uh, available for mobile. And I, I had a lot of it done. I think I had like nine levels designed and I just kind of got tired of working on it because I don't like working on projects for a long time. Um, but uh, one of the things I've also been working on, and I'll get more into this in the future, is, is a video game for some friends of mine from high school. It's kind of a surprise for them. But uh, I kind of am going through where each level is a different genre of like an old school game. Like this level right here with a dinosaur throwing barrels. You know, kind of like, well, it's called Dino Kong. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm making very basic versions of some of these old games. So I might do that because with Godot Engine, it's super simple to make basic games. And so I might start doing, like, maybe once a month or something, putting out a video where, and I try to keep a lot of my videos short, I might do longer videos if I have a chance to sit down and do them uh, when it's quiet in my house. Um, but uh, my goal is maybe to take an old game, Space Invaders, Asteroids, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, and from scratch, go through creating that with Go Engine. Uh, so that's something I might do. It's an idea I'm throwing around. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to give you an update on that. Again, a lot of Bash script stuff. I hope you like the videos I just did on converting um, images to emoji artwork in your shell. Um, so we did that. But uh, yeah, I'm still making videos, gonna continue making videos. I'm trying t for twice a week. Uh, I try to get videos ahead of time, done ahead of time in case I fall behind and I'm kind of caught up. Um, but uh, I have a lot of topics, it's just hard for me to get quiet time in my house. Um, it's like, my wife dropped the kids off at her parents today. I got one or two videos done and she just went and picked, to pick them up and they're gonna be back any minute now. So I'm recording this in the last few moments I have of quietness in the house. Um, so, I hope you're looking forward to that. You know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I mean, if you really hate the idea, I'm still probably gonna do it because I plan on, on doing this just to learn. Uh, I also need to post my games more. I need to inform you guys. I make games all the time, simple little things like this, just stupid little things um, that uh, never get played by anybody but my kids because I don't really tell people about them. Uh, I have one game in the Android uh, Google Play Store called um, Space Attack 2, uh, which I talked about when I posted that. I haven't checked on how many downloads it's had. It's a free game. It's a fun GitLab. And it also is on my website. If you go to filmsbychris.com and click on the software button at the top, we'll bring you down to a section. There's a button for games. It'll list a bunch of my games. Uh, some of them are older stuff I did in JavaScript and then a lot of newer stuff in Godot. Um, and also just check my GitLab page, which is also, if you go to my... Uh, filmsbychris.com and click on software. I think there's a link to my GitLab page there. I post stuff there all the time uh, and I would hope that you guys as my viewers would check it out because a lot of it's stuff I make for myself but I share. Uh, but I do a lot of little games and I post them there and I'm trying to, uh, I think I'm getting pretty good at Godot Engine. I, again, my project of Cyber Griffin I think turned out great. But if I could go back, I would redo things because I just know the Godot engine a lot better now. And one of the things about the Godot engine is I've always tried to do things in code. And most of the time, doing something as code is, is better than doing it in a visual editor. Because if you need to make changes later, it's like, you know, I'll just tweak the code. Uh, but really, Godot, the way it links scenes and objects together, um, a lot of times it is better just to do it in the visual editor, I'm finding, where Cyber Griffin, I did almost everything in code. Um, and I didn't really know how to link things properly, so the code's kind of a mess. The game works. Um, I was having issues with multiplayer mode. There's multiplayer deathmatch mode. 
uh, and the camera, I would have the camera pan around and basically it would find all the players, find the medium point, and then zoom out and make sure every player, so if the players got closer, it would zoom in closer. If they spread out on level, it would zoom out. And it ran great on my desktop, but on slower computers, it really, really went slow. Uh, so I don't remember, I don't think I, I, I fixed that, but my plan was to basically just have it to where the whole level is shown on the screen when you're playing in multiplayer mode just to make it run better on because it's just that calculation of the camera which i think i tried to improve on how it works um but it just it's just it could probably be done with a better coder uh than me um and there is one level in the game where it does that where you control two characters at once uh on the double impact level um but i think it's it, when it's just two characters it's not too bad compared to uh, you know, for I had set up so I think you could plug in as many controllers as you want, or maybe there was a limit of twelve was how I wrote it. But it would detect how many controllers you're plugged in, and as soon as a button was pressed on a controller, it would add a player to the level. Um, yeah, so I need to work on that, and I'm always open for people helping out. Uh, yeah, check that out. There was a, a few other little glitches I did where I changed things in the game and didn't realize it affected things on another level. Um, but yeah, I'm better at the Godot engine now. If I could do it, I would rewrite that from scratch, but I'm not going to because it's a lot of code <laughs> and it probably could have been done with a fraction of the code. And I think there's objects where I did kinematic bodies with um, areas to do collision where I really didn't need or need both in some cases. I just, I've learned a lot. And I find that's how it always is um, with, with programming. It's like anytime you look at code you did more than two years ago, you look at it and go, why did I do it that way? Because if you are constantly writing software, you're constantly finding better ways to do things. And that's why you got to constantly be working on stuff if you really want to get good at it, uh, like making little video games. And sometimes, sometimes with video games, it is easier just to, like if it's just a little game like this, there are a lot of things that probably could have been done better, but I was just trying to get it done because it's just one level in the game, but I had to create the barrels and how they flow and how the dinosaur throws them out and you get to the end of the level it blows up all these things there's little bombs you can press to blow up some trusses to create yourself shortcuts uh back up to the top if you get killed and sent back to the beginning so yeah uh, i do work on projects all the time like this and again this right now the last two weeks maybe, yeah about two weeks i've been working on this game where each level is a different genre of game basically um but i'm just trying to keep them simple and uh fun to play because it's the game to you know, it's more of a novelty than a game, but it, it will it will be up there for people. It's up on GitLab now. Eventually, I'll set up a website for it, uh, and there's that. But I make lots of games. I'm going to share them, and I'm, I'm babbling a little bit, and I do that a lot. I think I did that in my last video a little bit too. But that's what this video is for. It's for me to talk to you and tell you what's going on in my life. Um, yeah, uh, I've been busy with everything, um, but I keep on posting these codes, uh, these codes, these videos. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description of the video. As always, I hope that you have a great day.